Hello everyone, uh, let's update uh, on lung and uh, especially on the COVID-19 era. I will put on some basic and then uh, some finding that the paper state uh, the, f uh, the fighting of lung ultrasound in COVID-19. So first, what you need to know is why would we <laughs> would like to do ultrasound on COVID-19 uh, patients? So normally, if the patient came in with dyspnea, there's a paper on Italian that state that during pandemic, which means the demand of uh, medical care and medical diagnostic has exceeded uh, the patient, you could use ultrasound to actually help to triage uh, the patient that came in with dyspnea uh, with pneumonia versus non-pneumonia. And you can do a prognostic stratification, of course, you know, the lung ultrasound can tell you how much uh, interstitial or alveolar edema has uh, progressed and, of course, monitor the effect of therapeutics. So basically, there are four areas that we normally do lung ultrasound. The first and the second has been separated uh, on the anterior, and then the third and the fourth is on the lateral. There's actually on the fifth area here as well to investigate. But I haven't put it in here to you know to simplify. So this is uh, from the mid clavicular to the sorry, the second intercostal space to the fourth intercostal space, and this uh, expand to diaphragm. And this is anterior, and this is uh, lateral. So where COVID-19, uh, I forget to put in 19. So where COVID-19 affects the lung, the paper has stated that uh, mostly it affected the lower right lobe of the lung. And... Uh, uh, the second is upper left and lower left. 67% has affected in um, in posterior. So basically, if you want to do a ultrasound, you would like to focus on the right uh, lung. You know. And also, again, I cannot emphasize this uh, enough. You know, I didn't encourage you to do ultrasound in everyone you suspect COVID-19, but when it become pandemic and you don't know what to do or how to follow up, uh, the, it is obviously better than X-ray in terms of you know follow up and the quality. But of course, it 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 cannot compare to CAT scan. So this depends on your judgment. So basically, there are. Um, this is a very nice uh, protocol that suggests that um, how you could use ultrasound to follow up COVID-19. So basically, this is uh, it shows that you know when the if the patient has normal saturation and have a pattern, uh, you can let the patient go home or observe at home. But if the saturation has been decreased and there's a B pattern that is wet lung, a lot of B line that we will talk more, you know. So normally a lot, what uh, what does it mean when you say a lot of B lines? So basically three B lines is, is abnormal. More than four B lines is actually, you know, a, a sick patient. So in this patient, you need to hospitalize the patient. It's mean that uh, if you see the chest x-ray, the patient has the white lung. And if the patient has consolidation, of course, it's mean, you know, the patient has air bone programmed in, uh, in lung ultrasound. It's mean the patient is very sick, has alveolar uh, edema and you know, destruction. So you need to admit this patient into ICU. So how would you, um, how you investigate, in, uh, sorry, investigate the, this? Basically here, I'll go back to the normal view here. So basically when you do lung ultrasound, mostly, uh, I'll show the video, you put in the probe perpendicular to, uh, you know, in, in the sagittal view or in the vertical view to examine uh, the lung in the upper and lower region. As you can see here, we go anterior first and then we go to lateral. and. Uh, the things that I put in right and wrong here is normally you p you normally put in the probe like this, which it doesn't perpendicular to the patient rib space. So I'll pause this. Sorry. So I'll go here. The 
here okay so normally if you do the long ultrasound actually perpendicular or actually straight vertical it is not perpendicular to the intercostal rib space you need to uh, rotate the probe a little bit here to actually perpendicular to mid clavicle to get a good view the thing that you would see is two ribs normally this is a bad view and a pro-aligned when there is mostly air in the patient lungs what happens is that there is a lot of bouncing like you look into the mirror so this is pro line and then this is air in lung it acts like a mirror and you see you know the reflection of pro line again so this is a line and this is a line so basically the thing that you see uh, the a line is relief reflection of uh, pro line but it is not an object or anything it just suggests that there is a lot of air in lung and here uh, is you know when you uh, uh, we illustrate is again so this is echo probe and then you do one reflection you have one uh, a line another reflection and you have another a line which uh, normally has a equal distance like this so this suggests that there is more air than water in lung so the patient could have dyspnea from COPD asthma or pulmonary embolism anything that the lung is is not white in x-ray so if you know there is a lot of interstitial edema or alveolar edema like in COVID-19 what happened is that there would be beeline so normally beeline looks like this so it's vertical white line that uh, start from pro line you know to the end of the screen it rests a line it occur because there is a lot of bouncing you know between alveoli or interstitial that has uh, water replace air so you couldn't see the reflection of pro line anymore and uh, so this is a cat scan of a covid 19 patient that uh, i borrowed from the you know this journal so basically this is what happened you see this white line you know white vertical line start from pro line like this and if you do a cat scan when a patient lying supine so the thing that you need to be aware again is that you know the area that has a uh, mostly covid infected mostly it doesn't mean all of the patient is below so you need to be aware of this area if you want to uh, you know quickly spot that this patient has pneumonia or not the progression or the severity of pneumonia or covid 19 infection has you know been um, uh, demonstrated on this is on the butterfly under cell website that show that you know there is uh three beeline or more beeline and this is a uh, skip lesion so i explain more on you know what is uh what is less beeline and what is more beeline so basically a normal not normal but you know a, a less severe beeline is when there is the beeline you know and it's separated uh seven millimeters it it wouldn't be exactly seven millimeters you know but as you can see, there's not a lot of uh, bilai confluent or gathered together. This suggests that there is interstitial edema. But if there is confluent bilai or the bilai gather around you know, and it's it doesn't separate that much, so normally uh, it says in journal or textbook that it separated only three millimeters. This is called confluent bilai, and w it was just a severe uh, alveolar edema. So I'll show you some picture. So basically, here is the area that uh, we see in CAT scan. You know, so this is confluent bilai, as you can see here. It it wouldn't be one vertical anymore. It looks like a large white vertical line. This is another one that from textbook it's called white lung. You know, this is actually from ver vascular probe that we. <laughs> we see on our patient this morning uh which covid-19 is negative on the first day you know as you can see here you can see the pleural thickness you know irregular pleural pleural thickness is normally uh, more than two millimeters which you can see you know this is <laughs> so thick so this white lung you know if we call it easier this means that probably 
the patient has severe ARDS of some kind, you know, you, we couldn't tell if it's COVID-19 or not, but you know, you know, it's, it's not good. Uh, another thing, so come back to here. So this is B line. The last one, you know, or the worst one is actually when there is consolidation. So basically it's mean that the upper line has been replaced with so much water and also the bottom line is, has become into a prola shape like this. Sorry, a shape like this. So basically this is vascular probe in a normal lung. As you can see, this is two ribs and this is proli. You can see some comatel here, which it occur in a normal patient. Yeah, it occur from just rubbing. You know, nothing is wrong. But this one is actually uh, in patient with thick lie like this. As you can see here, this is uh, two ribs, and the proli isn't one line anymore. You know, you can see here it is irregular, and then you know it 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 doesn't quite move that much. So uh, you can tell that this is actually a stiff lung in the RDS patient. And um, so this is shred side. And another one is this is from our patient, which is not COVID-19, but is a uh, pneumonia case. As you can see here, so this is two kind of consolidation. The first one is, sorry, uh, I don't know if I talk too fast. So basically, <laughs> this is, you know, if you put on echo probe, this is a small consolidation. You couldn't focus that much. But if you use vascular probe, what happened is that if you can see here, you know, this is consolidation, a wet shape, you know, this is hypoechoic and this is some air bronchogram. Another thing that you could see is if you put in uh, abdomen probe, here you could see pro fusion. In normal people, there is current side here. Current side mean that when you put the probe here, you know, and the patient breathe in, the lung that has air, which is normal lung, cover the liver. However, if there is uh, pro effusion or lung consolidation, so this is so this is current side. So lung consolidation would look like this. See. So this is liver, diaphragm, and this is consolidation. So basically, you see loss of current side and lung consolidation. Uh, you can tell that this is, you know, a patient with minimal uh, pro-fusion. And also, um, the last one is pro-fusion here. So... <laughs> I put in some uh, graphic. So basically, this is consolidation. You know, if you have a poor fusion, it would look like this. Uh, I'll show you again. Um, so this is consolidation, and this is poor effusion. Again, if there is a lot of poor fusion, it would look like this. See. So this is less, you know, not much profusion. And this is lung, and this is profusion. So, uh, as a summary, um, in COVID-19 or even in pneumonia, so what you would see, you know, um, you see B line, a white lung confluent B line, if the patient get worse, consolidation in uh, echo probe and then consolidation in vascular probe. So thank you very much. This is um, a very helpful lecture that uh, I read on SlideShare. I would like to give credit to Dr. Nicholas. And um, so basically I have seen not much of COVID-19 patient, but uh, I hope this would help you to consider to use Undersal in appropriate uh, settings that, you know, don't harm yourself or your patient uh, to help get us get through this era. So thank you very much. And uh, let me know if I talk too fast or anything. Um, so thank you so much. Bye-bye. Uh,